William, um, plastic surgeon par excellence from uh, the Dallas area, and uh, going to talk to us about recipient site anesthesia and tumescence. Great. Thanks, Jonathan, for inviting me to lecture here today. Just to give you an overview of what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to go through first sort of the sequential sequence of, of the whole procedure and how recipient tumescence and anesthesia fits in so that you can sort of understand it in a, so it doesn't seem disjointed. I'm going to go through the cocktails I use, uh, and then I'm going to show you how to mix the products, actually a video with that, and then video sequences of how to do each of the parts of the procedure and some of the pearls that will be embedded into the videos as well. So I started using uh, Marcane superorbital blocks about uh, a, year ago, a year ago again, and it really has made a big difference because I've found that patients have a little bit of uh, loss of anesthesia even when you put a Marcane ring block around there. So this really gives them durable anesthesia for the whole procedure. And I start with that. I do use level two conscious sedation, so patients are um, knocked out with a little bit of IV versin and fentanyl, but I have a credit surgical facility that allows me to do that. Um, then I put in a, 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 a lidocaine ring block right below the area that I'm going to work. It's 10 cc's on the front and 10 cc's on the back. Then I go back and do my donor tumescence and harvesting. Then I come back and do another marcaine ring block uh, around, the, around the head. And then I do my recipient tumescence and the recipient site uh, creation. So that's just to give you some understanding of the sequence that I do it uh, with. <coughs> this is a really important slide. Uh, I, I'm sorry I missed some of the earlier lectures, but it, this is an idea that when you have a blade or a needle or a, or a chisel blade on top of nerve and blood supply, you have to have some kind of tumescence in there to protect it. At low tide, the ship, which is the blade or the needle, or whatever instrument you're using destroys the corals, which is the nerve and blood supply. So tumescence is so important. I think this is the, one of the big take-home messages of this, of this talk. Now, this is all in your handout, so don't try to scribble all this down. It's there. I saw that that was one of the few slides that actually made it on there. So th what I do here is I put the recipient superorbital block first. It's quarter percent marcaine and one 200,000 epinephrine. I do the uh, donor and recipient ring blocks to start with the lidocaine. I do do a buffer because even though the, the marcaine ring block is, sorry, the marcaine superorbital block is in there, there's a little bit of region that they can feel a little discomfort. And I think the anterior scalp is uncomfortable, so I do that. Then I told you later on after the donor harvest is done, I come back and use marcaine. I do use a little bit of um, Kenalog. It's 40 milligrams per cc diluted down to four, so just a point one place in there. You'll see that in the video of mixing. Um, and then this is the recipient versus donor tumescence. Some contrast, you understand this better. There's a little bit of Kenalog mixed down into it. It's a 0.01% to 1 to 500,000. And the donor, it's 0.01 to 1 to 200,000. And the difference is the donor, it's all put, put in at one time before the harvest. And the recipient, because it takes a little longer to do it, you want to maintain that tumescence. So I sequentially apply it. And I'm playing, placing a lot more in the donor area and a lot less in the recipient. Everything is subcutaneous, so you can protect the nerve and blood supply. This, I have no financial affiliation with any of the companies here. This has really been amazing. I use this for both the donor and recipient tumescence. It's the, uh, from John Cole. The reason this is so great, it limits needle sticks and allows me to really quickly infiltrate the uh, tumescent solution, uh, both in the donor and the recipient. So I, I always encourage um, surgeons who are technicians to think artistically. And one thing that gives me a lot of passion when I do hair is to do in an artistic fashion how you can take limited paint to cover a canvas and do so in a creative way. I always draw at the end of my, um, uh, my procedure, my pattern design for my assistants, and I love that. So I just challenge you to think artistically. Um, all this information really is in the textbook I wrote last year. And I encourage all of you to come to St. Louis if you can. This will be the first uh, 3D HD avatar system by James Cameron. We'll, we'll be actually doing uh, live dissections and uh, demonstrations while you're having uh, video camera blown up projections and it's all in high definition with uh, HD remote viewing too with uh, Dr. Jim Harris doing uh, FUE, RTAS and as well as a strip over in Denver. So it's going to be uh, pretty amazing. I encourage you to bring all your assistance. Thank you so much for your time.